Yo, hey guys, Smallmouth Crush. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm fishing the tournament, but not like you think. Something totally new, something I've never done before, and something I just found three, four days ago on Instagram was an ad for an online fishing tournament that starts today and runs through Sunday. And so I thought, that looks intriguing, but I have no idea. I have no idea what I'm getting myself into. We're going to head out on the water today, and I'm going to break it all down about this online event and what's needed. I mean, measuring boards, we're going by length instead of weight. It's online. It's all throughout the whole community. Anyway, we'll get into it. It's all coming up. I don't even know if this is a gimmick. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go through it all. I'm gonna talk to you about my experience uh, with this event, and um, and see what happens. So I'm gonna register for it now through Tournament X is the app, and I'm gonna see if this thing even works. Here it is. It's the Lucky Go Fishing August Tournament, Region Northeast. The four blue letters are my indicator. So those are the numbers that need to be in the picture of the fish that you weigh. Physically, in your photo, on hand, or paper. So I'm gonna do that right now. Zero, zero, oh, zero, five, one. There we go. So that needs to be in the picture of the fish. All right, Lucky Go Fishing online tournament. Five longest bass. So it's by length. I had to go get a measuring board and everything, um, which is kind of, I mean, that's probably the only way to do it. But I never understood the length thing because you can catch a three and a half pound bass and it's longer than a five pound bass for real. So I get why it's length. It's going to be the easiest way uh, to be able to record the fish. All right, so here we are. Let's get at it. All right, so I honestly didn't know what to expect. I was just itching to fish a tournament, you know. Uh, this year, a lot of, well, I uh, some of you may, have, may or not know, uh, I decided not to fish the FLW this year just because of how things played out last fall. Uh, regarding the championship and those that qualified and whatnot. So I decided to stay away from the FLW, which is probably a good thing. They really switched their schedules around a lot this year. and uh, It seemed real confusing and kind of uh, not really a, a good schedule. So anyways, I do like to compete. I do like that competitive side of fishing. So when this online format popped up on my Instagram literally a couple days ago, I was just like, let's do it. So I'm going to try my hardest to figure this out. Now, my concern was obviously that the fish here uh, on the Great Lakes, they're fat. They're not long. So, uh, you know, I can think of a bunch of other places where the bass are a lot longer, although they're not as big, where I would probably be able to do a little bit more damage. So I'm not sure how, I, I honestly, at this point in the video, I have no idea what a three and a half pound smallmouth measures. I've never never put one on a, a board to see how long they are. Um, it, it always bugged me when people say, hey, I call it 21 inch smallmouth. You know, that from a tournament angler and the guy that fishes uh, for five fish, it's hard to put that in perspective. So, but obviously that's the only way. Scales are gonna be off. You can't do it by weight. Uh, everyone's scale is gonna be different. Uh, there's a few things that concern me actually that we'll talk about a little bit later. Uh, in the video as we uh, as we go through the day. So let's see how things end up. lengthy three and three quarter pounder. I don't even know how many inches he'll go.
Here's a good one. Well, we got a measurer. For sure, this is a pig. Eh, he's not as big as I was hoping. We'll put him on the board. We'll register him. I thought he'd be bigger. I was hoping. There we go. This fish here. Oh, 19 and a half. I guess that's a good one. Goes up just under five pounds. One thing I noticed as I'm editing this video is I say everyone's a good one. What's up with me today? I was off. Today, today was an off day. Totally off day. I had a slight headache too for some reason. That's one we needed. That's the fish we need right there. So what's neat about this tournament today is everything's updated in real time. So here I'm checking the results, seeing where we're at. I got a shot. Get up there. Get back to work. So give you an idea of what I was doing out here. Uh, obviously, I'm, I'm fishing fairly deep. I'm drop shotting. I'm using a uh, seven foot medium light rod, braid the floral carbon leader, eight pound test, and I'm using the Gajo Spirit Shad quite a bit. Uh, not a whole lot of movement. I'll, I'll get a little aggressive if I see that fish uh, isn't reacting to my bait. And just notice the hook sets, just a standard Nice steady start reeling basically. That guy was up pretty shallow, about 15. He's fat, but he's short. Not going to be good for the dirt. 
herbs. Not good for the tournament. By length. Bet you this thing ain't even 17 inches, but it's four pounds. So I really couldn't get anything going here. Uh, wasn't a, a wasn't a big school, and I felt like I was working too hard for him. So on to the next area. If the fish aren't there, you just keep keep looking, keep searching. Now I'm going over areas I found them, you know, days before schooled up. So I'm hoping I run across something out here. Or maybe. Not good. Why can't I catch a giant today? Oh. all right he'll make the team I hope we can I hope your first five you just whatever you submit I hope you can like call you know if you catch a bigger one I'm not sure though I might have messed up so there was a little confusion I was curious to know if you could call like if you could just keep you know let's say catch five 17 inch fish and then my six is 18. I was a little nervous like is it your best five that you know you have on your camera and then you submit it but no you could actually submit fish throughout the whole day. Um, so that was that was a little I was I was curious to know I, I assume that's how it was. Uh, luckily it worked out uh, but there's another big issue that I found out later in the day that I had the rules all wrong which uh, didn't help me. By any means, but we'll we'll get into that. That's a decent fish there. I'll submit him. Fat but short. Fat but short.
So a couple times throughout the day, I was just on a massive school of like two and a half to three pounders that wouldn't do me any good. I probably caught at least 20 of those uh, smaller fish today. That was a fatty there. Took a while to get him to bite. I'm struggling today, but I'm picking up a few good ones here and there. He's not too bad. That's a good one. That's the one we needed right there. It's a little better than the others. Not huge, but he fought like he was. I thought he was bigger. That's what they say. So that was pretty much it. I fished a long hard day and here's where I messed up. I thought it was a three day tournament and you had you had to choose which day to fish. Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. I chose Friday. Well, I didn't know at the time, it's my fault, but it wasn't really clear. You could fish the next two days and weigh your best five over three days. So I thought I was done at the end of the day. I fished uh, sun up till sundown. I didn't save a lot of fish catches. I had a lot of three, three and a quarter, three and a half pounders that were like at that 17, 17 and a half inch mark. It was really weird measuring them. First of all, I want to say I had, I fished super hard. It, it was the same type of feeling as if I was in a normal tournament. So I'm going to do it again. So it's a three day event, right? So you could have fished today, tomorrow, or the next day, whatever day works. So it looks like quite a few people fished today. Um, I just could not get any big ones. So here's the finale as of right now. It looks like out of the 200 plus boats, 70 people fished. It's all real-time standings. I'm in third place right now with 92.5 inches. Uh, 98.25. This Kevin Cox dude, he had a 21 and a quarter, a 21, 19.75, 18.5, and a 17.75. So I can compete for sure out here even with length um i just have to uh i, I don't know I, I could not find a big mama today uh found a big wad of them found a bunch of fish just really had a hard time getting them to bite i'm not making excuses it was fun so three more days i'll probably get bumped i'll be a top 10 for my first of the 200 boats my first online fishing tournament all right, that was my own fault for not knowing the rules. I technically could have fished another two days. It was funny because the next day I'm looking and I see Cox with even more more length, and I'm like, "Geez, Cox, you got a, you got a long enough length as it is. Now you, you you're, you're just what what's going on here?" And I looked into it. Did that even sound right, Cox and length? Anyways, and I, and so I looked at the rules a little bit more careful and saw that I could have fished the next two days. But it's a learning experience. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna do it again for sure. Um, it seemed pretty smooth, pretty set. What I guess what I'd like to see, so it's all public water. So it's broken down in different regions across the country too. So I'm not competing against someone in Texas. I'm competing in the Northeast region. So guys up here, uh, you know, uh, uh, California and Texas compete in the same region. Uh, then you have your southeast and midwest, I'm sure. So there's different regions to take, you know, to to do this. And uh, I think it was pretty uh, pretty cool experience. I'm actually going to try to fish another one uh, coming up this year. But a couple things that concern me. Uh, 
you know, obviously getting the code during the, the morning of is cool. I'd rather see, I'd really rather see uh, a one-day event instead of three because a guy like me uh, who's competitive, uh, I'm going to fish all three days from sun up till sundown. And financially, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to do that, especially if I'm giving up guide trips and things like that for a thousand bucks. But um, so I'd rather just have one day events uh, because I, I'll fish from sun up till sundown Friday, Saturday, and Sunday just to try to win a, an online tournament. So um, I, I'm kind of torn in between that. I wouldn't mind seeing one day events instead of three. But now I know. Now I know better. Uh, a couple other things. So. Of course, you get the code, you take the picture. Now, there's always going to be cheating. You, you hope there isn't. You know, if any of you guys do, I mean, you're just, you, whatever. You're not. Uh, I'm just assuming you're not. But, you know, even like, a, I, I, it, not only an online event, but even a team tournament. I mean, if you wanted to cheat, you could easily put some fish in a basket somewhere and, and dump it underwater and go pick them up in a cove, you know, when, when no one's looking. Uh, it's not hard to do, so we assume and hope that doesn't happen. Same thing could happen with this tournament. You could literally be out, say Thursday, catch a five or a six pounder or you know a twenty incher, throw in your live well overnight, get your code in the morning, take a picture of that fish. So because it's online and it's the public and it's all over the place, I hope things like that don't happen. You know, if you get caught, you, you're done pretty much as far as in the industry or, or anything so it's it's not a wise thing to do it's not worth it it's not fair but I'm assuming it doesn't happen I just see that could be could be something uh, to look out for and I'd also like to see maybe some type of uh, tracker although I would hate for this organization to get the information as far as where you're at with GPS and things like that uh, maybe if it was private and they weren't going to use it or sell it or whatever, but something needs to be, you know, you want to make sure some guy isn't fishing some private little pond saying that it's public. That's another red flag that I see. But those are the only issues. I don't know. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think about this. If, if you've tried this in the past, let me know if some of my uh, concerns are even legit. I'd like to know your opinion on that. And uh, like I said, it was a good experience. I'm definitely going to try to do a few more. And um, it was something, something cool to be able to uh, you know, experience uh, for the first time. Well, hey, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. I think you should give it a try if this is something you're looking for. Take a look. It seems like a legit deal. Well, hey, I'll don't forget guys. to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And as always, until next time, we'll see you guys on the water.